If I were to start a new faceless YouTube channel today as a one-man team, I would use Canva for all my videos. Why? Because Canva is the most affordable and simplest video editing tool right now. And Canva's unbeatable advantage is that everything you need to start is in one place. Oh, wait, did you know Canva recently released a new feature called Video Editor Beta? Well, let's save that for our next video. But in this one, I will show you how I created a Vox-style faceless video from scratch using Canva. To get the exact video script style used by Vox, I asked ChatGPT, who is Vox on YouTube? ChatGPT breaks down all the useful details about Vox's channel. Next, I asked ChatGPT to create a one-minute video script using Vox's scripting style. If you want to take things further, submit a video topic and ask ChatGPT to act as Vox and write a video script that explains the topic like Vox. Okay, now our video script is ready. I'm just going to copy this and paste it into a voiceover tool. The tool I'm using is Speech Synthesis Online. I will open it and paste the script. You can change the language, style, voice and more. I just want to keep everything at default. Let's try the voice sample. Imagine waking up to the sound of gentle waves and the warm Italian sun kissing your skin. Sounds great. Once you're okay with the settings, hit synthesize and give it a few seconds for your voice to be generated. Once it is done, you can play it or download it to your PC. Now, let's get to the big thing. Open Canva and look for video right here. Let's choose the landscape format. Let's bring in the voiceover we just generated. You can upload the file here or simply drag and drop here. Let's add it to the timeline. We need a dark background, so we will change the color. I love it a bit gray. To add more pages, simply click on the plus sign or Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to gather all the elements I will use on this page. To get the right elements, I have to extract keywords from the script we generated and use them to find the elements I will need for the video. This will actually save you time. Here, I have British Museum. I will copy that and paste it in the Canvas search bar. I am okay with this. It's that easy and time-saving. I will quickly do the same for other keywords. Alright, that is done. Now, it's time to cook our epic video. Let's start with this clip as the British Museum. I will split the page for the next transition. In the second page, I will reduce the size of the clip. Let's add a tabletop background. Let's send it backward. Right-click and select Layer to send it to the back. Let's add another element. Send it to the back. Make the cup fit into the dark area. To create a zoom effect between the two pages, we need to add the match and move transition. Increase the duration to make it slower and smooth. Great. For the next page, we need a tabletop background. Next, we need a frame. We are going to add images to these frames. Let's give it a white border. I will pick images from our pre-selected elements. Drag the image into the frame. It will fit in automatically. Great. Control D to duplicate the frame and drag in other images.
For this part, we need to add an image to a shape to achieve the transition we need. The shape is to prevent the image or clip from being trapped if placed on top of the frame. This is the last click for this page. Let's add a shape. Change the color to white. Let's round the corner of the clip and adjust the size to fit the size of the clip. Let's lock the background image to prevent it from moving. Right click and you will find lock. Select the shape and the clip and group them together. Let's place it here. Increase the length of the page and split it to two. At the right side, expand the clip to cover the entire canvas. After that, drag the play head to the split point to add the match and move transition. Increase the duration and the size of the page for a better experience. Over 8 million artifacts that tell the story of human civilization. But behind its fame... Excellent! For the next animation, we need to add two elements to this scene and position them strategically. I will group these stones together and copy them with one other image. I will update them here. I will remove the background of this other image. I will position it here. And the stones here. I will split the page right here. On the other side, I will remove the background clip and change the background color to black. Let's reposition these images. Let's add one more image. I will also add a light shadow background to all of them. Send to the back. Let's add a fade in animation to this other image. Set it to on enter and reduce the speed. Select all the lights background and add fade in animation. Set it to on enter and reduce the speed. Let's see what we have. Including the Rosetta Stone, the Parthenon. Great. Increase the duration and the size of the page for a better experience. Excellent. Let's split the page for the next animation. Remove all the animations from the elements. Select all using the Control A or Shift key and manually select. Reduce the size for more space below. Let's add an image. I have this globe map with the map of Africa. I will add it and increase the size. Change the red color to green. This is to allow us direct focus to one point on the map. Here is Nigeria, and that is where we want to direct focus. I will cover the area with a Nigeria map in a red color. You can easily find that under the graphics. This one here will fit in. I will expand it to cover the entire area. Change the color to red. Add a fade animation. Set it to on enter and reduce the speed. I will use lines to connect these three elements to the red area on the map. Go to tools. You will find lines. Select the first one, which is a straight line. Change the color to red. 
duplicate it using the duplicate button on the screen or Control D. Select all the lines and add the wipe animation. Set to on enter and reduce the speed. Great, that's smooth enough. Let's split the page for the next animation. I will increase the size of the globe for a zoom in effect. We can remove the lines from here. Next is to add a match and move transition. Increase the duration to 1. Let's also do that with the previous page. I will add this British flag on the red area and give it a fade in animation after a certain point. Let's add another page and image. You can always adjust the look of an image by using the edit button at the top here. You will find adjust. Here you will be able to adjust the temperature, brightness, contrast and more. Play around it to achieve the desired look. Let's add text. Scroll through to choose your text template. I'm okay with this. Let's make it visible. Click on text effects and choose the outline effect to add a stroke to your text. You can change the color and increase the thickness. Let's add an animation. I will use the typewriter animation. Set it to on enter and reduce the speed. Let's add this flow transition and we're done. Next, let's split the page. On the right side, remove the text and reduce the size of the image. Place it somewhere at the top. I will add a map to the background. Let's send it to the back. Let's add a border to this other image and change the border color to red. Next, we need a map indicator. You can find it under Frames and Elements. We need a circle to highlight the area of focus. Change the color to red. Reduce the transparency to 50%. Let's add a pulse animation. Excellent. For the indicator, let's change the border color to red. Now let's link the image to the red area using a line. You can increase the weight if you want. Let's add an element to the frame. Okay, that's enough. Let's split the page. Zoom in the new page to show what is in the frame. Add a match and move animation for a smooth zoom in effect. 97. British troops invaded the kingdom. Let's add another page and clip. Use a circle wipe animation. You can set the direction to in or out. Let's add another page and a clip. Let's add another page. I will use these three images. This tabletop will serve as a background. And then this newspaper. And finally this clip. Position the clip on the empty area. Let's use a line wipe animation. 
you can set the duration and direction. After that, I will split the page. On the other side, select everything using Control A. Increase the size of everything so that the clip is positioned at the center. Add the match and move transition in between the pages. Now, let's split this page for the next transition. Reduce the size of everything on the page. Let's add two images to the bottom of the newspaper. Add borders to them. Give them a fade animation. Let's use the match and move transition in between. Let's split the page here. I will increase the size of elements on the new page to direct focus to the newly added images. Add the match and move transition. Let's add a new page. I will add these three elements to create a kind of news broadcasting background. I will split the page. Then reduce the size of this clip. Let's add another clip and position them evenly. I will add a pan animation and set it to on enter. Reduce the speed. And then for the transition, I add match and move and set the duration to one. For the final animation, I copy one of the animations we created earlier and paste on the new page. I will use this chop transition for the next page. You can set the duration, direction and origin to your liking. Let's replace the clip with something else. You can change the color and other settings using the Edit tab. Let's increase and split it. Expand until only the clip is shown on the canvas. I will increase the last page until it takes the remaining part of the voiceover. I have some background music that I uploaded. I will use that and use whooshes for the transitions. The job is done. Here is the final result. But before that let me know if I'm even close to Vox video style. If you need these templates and other of my Canva templates for faceless videos, check the link in the description. Thank you, and I hope to see you again soon. The British Museum is one of the most famous museums in the world, holding over 8 million artifacts that tell the story of human civilization. But behind its fame lies a deep controversy. Many of its treasures, including the Rosetta Stone, the Parthenon sculptures, and the Benin bronzes from Nigeria, were taken during Britain's colonial era. In 1897, British troops invaded the Kingdom of Benin, burned it to the ground, and looted thousands of priceless works of art, objects that documented the kingdom's history, religion, and identity. Those stolen pieces now sit in museums across Europe, far from their origins. For decades, Nigeria and other countries have demanded their return, but the British Museum refuses, claiming the artifacts belong to the world, not one nation. Critics argue this attitude still echoes colonial thinking, that Western institutions decide who owns world culture. Today, the fight continues not just for art, but for justice, memory, and the right of people to reclaim their history.